the red eye tetra, Moenkasa St. Philomene, also known as the yellow banded Moenkasa, yellow back Moenkasa, and yellow head tetra, is a species of tetra from the São Francisco, Upper Parana, Paraguay, and Uruguay river basins in eastern and central South America. This freshwater fish is commonly kept in aquariums and bred in large numbers at commercial facilities in Eastern Europe and Asia. It can grow up to 7 cm, 2.8 inches, length, and live for approximately 5 years. The red-eyed tetra has a bright silver body accented by a white-edged black basal half of the tail and a thin red circle around its eye. The red-eye tetra's hardiness and ease of care makes it an excellent beginner fish. It is readily available, peaceful, and is suitable for most community aquariums, although it is quite active and may disturb slower, more timid species. A word of caution, although generally peaceful, some individuals have been known to be fin nippers on rare occasions, even when kept in groups. The red-eye tetra is a schooling fish and should be kept in groups of six or more. If kept alone it may nip the fins of other fish. A fish tank with volume of about 110 liters, 29 US gallons is recommended. These species do best at temperatures of 72 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit in a planted tank with plenty of shelling space. Red eyes tolerate a range of water conditions but prefer slightly soft, acid water. In the wild the red eye tetra feeds on worms, insects, crustaceans and plant matter. In the aquarium red eye tetra generally eat all kinds of live, fresh, and flag foods. To keep a good balance they should be given a high quality flag food every day. Feed brine shrimp, either live or frozen or blood worms as a treat. Females are larger and have a more rounded abdomen than the males. When attempting to breed them, a separate breeding tank should be set up with slightly acidic, very soft water, 4 dgh or below. The red-eyed tetra is free spawning but will also lay eggs among the roots of floating plants. Once spawning has occurred, the mating pair should be removed, as they will consume the eggs and hatching fry. One day after they are laid, the eggs will hatch. The fry can initially be fed in fusoria, rotifers, or commercially prepared fry foods, then freshly hatched brine shrimp, and eventually finely crushed flake foods.